guys, what's up? We're escaping the dungeon. You want to say hello? Yeah, I can see myself. We can see freedom, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good day. Thank you. All right. How you guys doing? You popping in? Oh, what a beautiful day. Holy cannoli. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. I'm going for a haircut, folks. I know you wanted to know. I know it was important to you. Okay, well, I felt obliged to give you guys the timing is appropriate. <coughs> Two. Oh, no, that was unclassy. I shouldn't have did that live. You guys think I'm classy. I'm kidding. I'm happy. Yesterday was six months. Yes, humble brag time. Six months without a single drop of alcoholic beverage. So what I'd like to do... There we go. I'd like to uh, share with you guys some of the benefits of quitting drinking alcohol. It's pretty wild. When I say not a drop, a couple of things people ask me is, are you done forever? Yes, I'm a non-alcoholic. Non That's true. <laughs> but I do not consume alcohol. I'm just a non-drinker. That's my new... Uh, updated status so that's number one yeah I'm done it's over now number two was why why did I stop I guess we'll start there and then I really want to share with you guys some of the benefits because it's not hard well maybe we'll touch that <coughs> I'm not sure if we're gonna to touch that but I mean I really want to share some of the benefits I've experienced in a six-month period so, shall we begin with why I stopped? A lot of people think it's because of um, health reasons, and you're actually right. You're right. I've been kind of hiding that a little bit. I've been kidding myself and saying that the reason I stopped drinking was, number one, because of stupidity purposes, I guess you can say. And number two, to get more work done. That's what I put out there. <clears throat> That's what I've been putting out there. Or whoever asked me, I guess. Truth is, it was a health scare. A big one. Um, on Valentine's Day of 2018, exactly six months and one day ago, I guess, I, was, uh, I got a health scare. And without going into details, it was enough to say, That's it. And a bonus would have been the stop being stupid because for the record, even when I was drinking, yeah, I, was, I guess I could say I was an alcoholic to a certain point. Different levels of alcoholism, I'm sure. But I was, I, I would have qualified for sure. I drank every day, um, different amounts. I don't, I don't even think we need to go there. What we need, where we need to go here is that the stupidity aspect it was obvious to me more afterwards because when you're drinking, you don't realize how stupid you are. But when I was, the, mo the times I was not drinking, I hated hanging around with drunk people. And it's pretty amazing for a guy who's apparently, well, I, I like to think I'm pretty intelligent. Why did I not connect those dots? <laughs> like looking at these people, hanging around with drunk people when I wasn't, I couldn't stand it. They're obnoxious. No offense to drunk people. I was one for all of my life. <laughs> for real. And I was, I, I'm, I can almost guarantee I was worse than you were. If you're a drinker. I got nothing against drinkers. But the stupidity aspect and the getting more work done aspect were bonuses. But I did stop because of health reasons. I was killing myself. And I got a health scare. And that's the reason. Okay, we got the reason down. Number two. Not number two. What am I feeling? The benefits. I think this may help some people who are considering it. Considering quitting drinking. 
you don't lose anything by the way like absolutely nothing one of my fears was that I wouldn't be as social I'm more social uh, I wouldn't be as uh, yeah I wouldn't have as much fun was another one I have way more fun I see what the heck's going on I see clearly I can see clearly now and that's not even a joke I do see clearly as I go through the benefits with you guys right now and they increase with time that's really weird they haven't stopped increasing so let's start with physical because we'll get into the brain benefits that's where that, that that's if I would have known this I would have quit a long time ago we'll start with the physical benefits the hair I'm going to get it cut for those of you who are saying the hair is out of control mark that's where I'm going I'm on my way I'm on my way to see Joe the hair is thick the hair is healthy it's not frizzy it's like it's healthy and is it because I stopped drinking alcohol yes it is it absolutely is I haven't changed anything in my life I still try to take care of the mane as best as I can whatever's left of it right just kidding it's all there I was born with that receding hairline for the record the hair is all there the hair is all there hair is thicker hair is, hair is flowing <laughs> number one um, the skin Fuck. day and night you guys probably can't tell on video but let me tell you something I was getting all of those little broken up little veins the nose was a big was really a big red honker almost full time try to camouflage it with the diva light sometimes but all that kind of dissipated the vein the little almost like little mini spider veins in the cheeks and stuff they all went away and now it's like the pores I had kind of like I kind of like pores in my face deep pores if you look at me up closely and they're gone was that related to alcohol absolutely um okay should we get into this <laughs> the teeth the teeth are whiter and I brush all the time I mean I take care of my teeth I haven't changed anything in the teeth to tooth caring process but they got whiter whiter and just I, I, I look at my I look at my teeth I know what my teeth look like when I clean them up when I clean them up when I give them a good scrubbing and they're just they're whiter okay here we go we're going into a lot of details um, my wounds my battle wounds now I don't know if this is too I'm excited and I'm going through the physical benefits so far but what are you talking about Mark battle wounds hey here's here's one of my one of my things okay one of my things I tend to walk into walls and I'm not even kidding <clears throat> I tend to be into such in such focus modes at times <clears throat> and I do this often holy crap I do this often I actually walked into a, the corner of a wall a door frame full on full full walk like a nice firm walk right in my condo and I'm kind of looking down and I just boom I had a I had a nice hum nice hum and that's just from being, and now you're actually paying attention to what I do so I got some cuts and stuff from door frames I know this seems like it's out of scope but it's not because they heal now and yes I've cut myself three times it pretty bad bleeding and stuff by walking into door frames so that heals up boom right away can anyone relate can anyone relate to your body healing itself just because you don't consume alcohol I don't know I don't know it's true I'm telling you because it's true um, we're about to get into the brain there's so many things um, okay we sex I got to go there I have to go there the sex is incredible it's more like uh, when I was in my 20s but that happened in the first month I won't spend too much time on this but it is a phys physical benefit and I think I should put it out there because I generally have sex once a week again I don't want to get into that detail it's not that kind of live I yeah once a week is good for me I'm a 40 year old 40 46 year old and that is better than day and night I feel like I'm a, a, a youth again 
like for real, directly related to alcohol. That alone, that alone, if I would have known. So I'm hoping this may serve some of you, you people who may drink consistently. Now keep in mind, I completely stopped. So I don't know if this, these benefits, and I'm about to get into the brain benefits. I don't know if these benefits are going to hold true to someone who tones it down a little bit. I don't know if that if it works that way, but I went from heavy, heavy, quite heavy, quite heavy drinking to cold turkey, completely stopped. So for me, it was day and night benefits. I'm going to talk about the eyesight. Um, here's what I kind of, after some Google searches and, because I, I feel like I need glasses now. But here's the thing. And I've had someone comment on this. I believe it was Thomas. He said when he stopped drinking, congratulations, congratulations, Thomas. I believe you're at, congratulations to a lot of my friends that are in multiple decades. That's crazy. It's not crazy. It's not crazy. You stop, you stop. But he was saying that his eyesight was getting wor got worse and he needed glasses once he quit drinking. That didn't make too much sense to me, but... I was able to relate. I'm like, why am I feeling to need, why do I feel I need glasses now? And when I was always drunk, I saw fine. Here's the thing. <clears throat> this is kind of a discovery. I didn't see fine. I did not see fine. Because I was drunk, the, 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 the ego and pride and you know, the indestructibleness of being drunk, whatever. That's a, that's a crock. But the feeling that you feel you're indestructible made me cocky in that sense. When everyone, when you drink, get hammered, you feel like you could take over the world. I know this because there's a sign in my condo where I do little eye tests. And I can see, well, I'm about to go see Joseph here. For the haircut. I'm gonna have a seat because this is important. The I my eyesight has not gotten worse. My eyesight is exactly the same. I believe is because I'm more aware of what I'm seeing now because I'm not drunk. I actually I can make I, I know what I'm looking at. When I was drunk, I'm just like, oh look at that nice look at that nice car or so when I was looking at those the sign in my condo, it's a fire fire escape sign. There's large text, there's medium text, and there's little fine print. And when I stand at the elevators, I guess I'm about 20 feet away, something like that. And I used to always do a self check on myself. And I could read the exact same things and not read the exact same things. So my eyes haven't gotten worse. The truth is because, well, I'm sure working on the computer 16 hours a day, most of the time focusing like this, I probably needed glasses a while back. <clears throat> I just denied it. Den denied it. I, I was in denial. There's the word. And there we go. Because I'm sober, I'm more attentive to these things. Uh, now, the brain. We got to talk about the brain. We have no choice. I'm going to take a little walk. I like, I like walking when I'm talking. The brain, the brain, the brain. Holy moly. The dots I am connecting, the, 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 were, uh, the information I, I've had, because I still studied like a maniac when I was drinking, <clears throat> but now my ability to, number one, retain the information, even if it's subconsciously, and extract it when I need it is absolutely insane. My search capabilities are absolutely off the charts as in um, search capabilities. My resourcefulness. When I want to get something, the ability to be extremely resourceful, find out what it is I need, is, is, is I'm acute, like I'm acute. I'm, I'm like, I kinda, if I don't know what I need to figure out, I, I find it really quickly now. And then once I find it, I have a, a, a newfound ability to somehow retain it subconsciously. So when I need it later, 
since I, I be, I've become so resourceful, it's like I can extract it immediately. I don't know how that sounded to you guys, but I, I, I like my brain. I, I'm really grateful for the, the, the way it works. <laughs> it's kind of a, a thank you, God. I'm going to talk about that too. Thank you for the creative abilities you've given me. But I believe I, I just, I know, I'm, I've been given a pretty, a pretty good one and I was pickling it, pickling it pretty good with alcohol. So now that it's in the unpickling process, it's just, it's getting so freaking sharp, guys. I'm getting things like, I'm so confident in my abilities now. That's another thing, confidence. But it's like, I can just figure things out super, super quick when I couldn't before. Is it alcohol? Absolutely, it's alcohol. Now we're going to get a little freaky deaky. My connection with the boss. The boss, the boss. Yeah, you guys can tune out and say, well, is he going to talk about God now? Got to do it, guys. He's the man. Or the woman. But my connection with higher intelligence. There we go. That should be more socially acceptable. Or it's not socially acceptable. It's just I don't want to get into the believers, non-believers things on my lives. Religion, I try not to touch either. Um, politics either. But here we go. My connection with higher intelligence is has been insane. It's almost like we've been on the fritz a little bit. We've been like going through relationship troubles a little bit. You know, why aren't you helping me with this? Why aren't you giving me... Um, it's my own. Just our, our communication. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I told you. Right now it's tight. It's so friggin' tight. I have full on have full on conversations with God out loud. Thank God I live alone. And it's like we're on the same page. It's crazy. So I have no limits now. So is it be, is my health getting better? Absolutely. That's just an obvious one. Oh, and by the way, weight stays off too. Weight stays off. Historically, when you lose 50 or 60 pounds, I mean, I know I'm hopping all over. I just, there's so many benefits. When you're hopping around, when you're losing, anyone who loses more than 50 pounds, historically, puts it back on. If they go back to their old lifestyle, okay? I've been, I've been, I, I have been slipping nutritionally. I'm not going to lie. I lost, I'm at 61 pounds and I've, been hovering around there for a while and I kind of went back to my a little bit my old ways of eating a little bit but I still look at the calories and the macronutrient ratios however the consumption of what I was consuming in beer and ignoring it it was we're talking tens of thousands of calories guys I used to drink a couple of cases on a good party day so even though I've gone back to enjoying some pretty awesome foods in life, yes, I may get myself a nice shawarma right there. I've been able to keep that weight off. Now, I know I want to drop another 20. I think that's, I think everyone knows about that. <coughs> so I've been slipping nutritionally, but I've been friggin' state, I haven't, I'm not putting anything back on. So there's another benefit. And with that being said, those are just some of the benefits and I'm gonna leave you I, I needed to log this I needed to make a video and I'm gonna go see if Joseph's there I needed to make a video and by the way that's my drinking hole right there that's my ex drinking hole up there busters not even flinching huh. walking by that place in the past I'm going in not even what are you talking about I could walk through there have a seat in a nice sea it wouldn't bother me that's pretty insane now Here's the, here's the cool part, as I close this off, because I've babbled enough about benefits. It's getting better and better. Um, I've heard it from some of Don LaChance. I don't know if you're on. Are you on, Don? Are you on, Don? Don LaChance, 30 years, 32 years sober. And he tells me even till this day, it keeps getting better and better. And I was in disbelief in the first couple of months. I'm like, it can't get much better than this. But every single month, my mind gets freaking sharper. I'm like, will this end? Will, will, this, will this end? Like, how, how sharp can I get? <laughs> kind of funny to say, but it's true. I got no... I, 
There's no benefit in me lying to you guys in these. There's no benefit to me in me lying to you guys about the benefits. It's not like I'm selling a, selling anything. It's just for my own personal log and also for, you know, to share, maybe help some people or motivate you. I can't really help you on how I did it because me, it was a health scare and somehow I just did it. There we go, we'll keep that one like that. Let's go see. Change the subject. Get this, get this main managed. This main managed. Hello, Joe. How are you, my friend? I'll be back in five. Bye bye. There he is. We're in luck, folks. So, what do you guys want for lunch? You want a little fajita? You want shawarma? You go for shawarma. Okay, guys. There it is. So there you have it. Six months. First six months were amazing. I'll do another one of these in six more months. Bye-bye.